Okay, this is a quick video on any of you that have any kind of power pack that has a 110 volt air pump, uh, cigarette lighter, USB charging, but basically a power pack that has 110 volts is what we're working around. I've had a lot of these Nautiluses over the year. This one in particular is in 2014. The stickers on the bottom of the box. Always check your stickers first to make sure that you've got the most amount of years from when you're buying it because so, sometimes they've been sitting on the shelf for a couple of years anyways I have another one battery was no good as you can see over here on the side and it was made in 2020 which is it's only three years old now in 2023 so it was uh, NFG from the go and um, I took it apart so I had two or three or four of these Nautiluses over the years no I'm not rich I'm just an old guy and I had a lot of use for them because I had a lot of boats the uh, unit I stripped it apart took the battery out that you can see and I had an intention for it. Now I took the other Nautiluses apart but unfortunately I didn't go slow and easy on it. I just stripped everything out and was looking for copper and the rest of it. So what I did is I converted it into a portable power source. As you know these can run you anywhere up to three, four hundred dollars and I'll show you what I did. When you disconnect the battery and remove it from the whole casing for the Nautilus, make sure you put all the wires back together. All the red wires came off the red terminal, all the blacks came off the black together with the screws that hold them on. And other kinds of uh, booster packs, they may be slightly different. And tape them with electrical tape. You want to make sure that they're not going to come in contact with anything because inside now of the casing is hollow because the battery compartment now there's nothing in it. But everything else works fine. So once you put the wires all back together with the nut or the screw or the bolt, whatever holds it together, tape them all up good so they don't short out. Hope you have a nice day and found this informative. Now this may be hard to see in this very bright sunlight out here, but this is the unit hooked up in my, my uh, work truck. And I don't know, but you can see what the battery's putting out right there. And basically you hook it up to the positive on your battery and any negative you can find in the truck. And that's through the uh, terminals on the power pack. All of them have booster cables, some are attached, some are with nuts like this that you can turn. Now, uh, this will convert power from any source you have. Now, what I recommend you do is you have this set up uh, beforehand. Now, as you see the navigation lights come on, uh, the USB, the air pump in the back will come on. I hate to move the camera by myself. There's the air pump was on. Now there's the light there for the USB. And that's for that. Now. I recommend that you have the uh, truck running when you're doing this. For full power on the battery. Because we're at 12.5. And I'll show you in a second. Okay, this is with the truck running. You might not be able to see it, but putting a 14 and a half volt. This is for full charge. The AC outlets are 400 watts a piece, 60 cycles, 120 volts. And you see the two lights are on, whatever your battery pack is, it'll have an indicator. go. You can make yourself a portable unit for when you're on the go. This doesn't even weigh anything with the battery out of it now. It's very light. Anyways, I hope you appreciate the video. Any questions, let me know. I don't know how long you can run your power tool for, but at least if it's something that if it get you out of a jam, it might work. Thank you.